Hello and very warm welcome to Raflems. This is Farooq Hussain and today we will continue the configuration of Koha administration in Koha operational and administrative skills series. So let's start. We just need to open our browser, web browser, and we just need to open the Koha manual. Just need to write Koha manual. That is one of the best document to work on Koha. So just open the Koha manual and you also need to open the Koha demo site for practices purpose. <clears throat> Let me open one of them, the water, and you just need to remember the login and the password already log in with me so i just open the koha administration so today we are going to discuss the mark bibliographic framework and we will talk about the classification sources and we will discuss the acquisition parameters for example currency budget funds and we will talk about the additional parameters for example how we can add a z3 9.50 client in our koha system so uh, maybe you have work on Koha cataloging. Let me show you. So if you have performed Koha cataloging, you must aware that the default uh, framework, it's quite longer. It has multiple tabs with numbers of fields. For example, this one. So this is actually the default framework of Koha cataloging. So this is one page and another page, I mean the tab, section one has numbers of fields you have to fill. But two, tab number two, the tab number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually they are marked code, so you have to work on all of them. So not only this, after saving the record, you have to work on item. Now, if I made this one pager document, to do that, we need to work on Koha bibliographic framework. There you can see the frameworks available, the default framework. You can actually export this framework and import some new framework in CSV format, and you can check the mark structure. So the, here the structure and you can actually add it one tag or you move this you can delete this too. but i would recommend to import some new framework instead to using default framework for example we can import some fast add framework like this so let me show you how we can import actually the fast cataloging or the urgent cataloging framework. So there we actually need to write and similar for RDA. Koha, this is actually the mark framework. So how we can add an RDA framework. Mark is actually the encoding schema, the format of cataloging. RDA or AACR2 is actually uh, the code of cataloging, I mean the rules of cataloging. On one side you have rules of cataloging, on the other side you have format of cataloging. For example, we have card cataloging format, we have a book format, and similar we have mark, it's machine readable cataloging. So we need to add RDA as a rules in, in this framework. So we can do this. Let me show you how. You just need to write RDA framework for Koha in your web browser and will it will redirect you to Koha Wiki community site and there you can find the mark framework 
so there are four frameworks right now and one is article framework who has developed this the name of person and the purpose and the status and the file similar you will find the rda framework and the purpose of this framework <clears throat> and the status completed and the bug fix this file has one bug and it has fixed with this one so acquisition framework similar and the fast add framework so let's download this one fast add framework when you click on this file need to download the csv so as you can see it has downloaded down and another framework let us download the rda framework so this can download this file now back to koha system the Koha administration and the mock framework. So you just go to Koha administration in bibliographic framework, mark bibliographic framework, and add new framework. For example, I just add urgent cataloging. Uh, this is just an example. I link to so urgent cataloging and it will display here and what I would do I need to do is just to go to action drop down and import choose the file download folder For this one it will ask you are you sure about this and of course so it will tell you about the tags library action so let's see now it has uh, uploaded actually let's see what the result come out in it Logging. Go to catalog. Now let's go to the Koha cataloging, and there you can see a. You can see the urgent cataloging is available here, and now this is actually it has one, two, and three. It has three tabs. See, let's see. The fields are limited now. And this actually one field for RDA. It's actually one tag for RDA. So there's a difference between mark and RDA tags. For example, this 264 for RDA. And this is also. And there you can see this is this will complete the RDA and this is actually the mark tags you can see all these tags are available for mark purpose and the RDA tags are also so you can perform cataloging in its easiest way add this fast cataloging the framework so if you need this framework you can contact me you can write to me i'll provide you this framework alternatively you can download from the koha wiki site and let's see how we can add uh, 
the RDA framework, I mean the complete RDA framework, let us actually replace this default framework to complete RDA framework. I just uh, click on the action button, I mean the action drop down button and just click on import and you need to choose the file sample that we have downloaded RDA export RDA export 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 RDA now you need to import this so it will take little time it's actually the complete default framework for rda with rda tags actually it will take a little time So this way we can add frameworks. First, what we do, we have added one of the polis, I mean the one of fast cataloging framework. And then we have added complete detail uh framework as a default frame so this is also useful when you perform cataloging on so it's also useful when you perform cataloging with 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 the copy cataloging there you can see fields are now changed second tab and there you can anyways this way you can add actually the fast cataloging framework and you can add the RDA framework. In Mark Bibliographic Framework, we have added two framework. One is Fast Cataloging Framework. The second is RDA Framework, Fast Cataloging Framework with RDA Elements 2 and uh, now we are going to check the classification sources so there you can see a uh, generic classification as a filing rule they're not in use dv is in use lcc i mean library of congress classification scheme is in use so if you want to uh, uh, add this one if you want to make it use for example you want to use udc can make it available and add the setting and if you want to use uh, i mean by default the filing uh filing rules for classifications is dv generic generic they are actually this one is generic uh, this one these three are generic udc udc these are generic and the library of congress classification is available and for splitting rules we have DB, generic classifications, and the Library of Congress classification. So there's no need to add or add it in this setting. Let's talk to, let's talk about uh, acquisition parameter. So just click on currency here. In currency, I want to add, by default, you will see this euro is actually 
active currency and I want to add Pakistani rupees here so let me add this so you just need to write Pak rupee and the rate is one and the symbol is rs iso code is pkr and this you need a separation between symbols and the value yes and we need to make this an active current and submit this so now you have add one currency as an active currency then come to acquisition parameters once again and there you can see how you can add a budget for example i want to add a budget for the year 2020 from 1st January till December 31st let me write the description about that budget Larry budget for the year thousand and the total amount would be some and lakh rupees this is just an example yeah, i have put the right value okay and lakh rupees this budget make this budget active on and in fact you can lock this budget as well i just make this budget active right now so we have this budget now and uh, there's no inactive budget and now what i will do i need to add funds fund is actually one portion of budget so let me add one portion of that particular budget On fund there are already few funds I just write for one new funds not new budget and there you need to select the budget go then you can add new fund for the library budget here to the so write the fund code i mean the fund code there for example let me write books want to buy books one name library books budget and the amount would be something uh four lakh rupees just an example warning at five percent let me warn when five percent left and is in term of amount you can write some amount this is just an example and you can select some user here the owner of this budget from your library staff example let me allow anyone if there's any pattern available and you can assign the assign him or her as a owner of that particular 
you can select the library whatever the library and then restrict access if you are super library you can restrict the access as well now let me submit this right now so we have created one budget for four lakh rupees for books this is actually one portion of that particular budget okay so we have add the currency we have add the budget we have add the funds and i'll show you how we can add the additional parameters for example z39.50 client for copy cataloging so you can perform copy cataloging through z39.50 protocol on the clients other libraries for example just click here and you can see these libraries are added by default library of congress and this library and this library and this library they all are already linked with koha now let me add one but where from where i will get these information for example the host name the port name password and all these things so let's check the koha manual and you will find an additional parameter you can see how you can add uh, z39 point server client and there you will find an index data call it irspy ir file just click on this link and there you can see the target directory the libraries on C39.50, they actually shared their catalog. So let me add one of them. For example, uh, okay, let me add. can see the national library of iran the national library of norway the national library of new zealand national library of medicine for example let me add this one national library of medicine i want to fetch data from this uh, particular uh, uh, library for example my library is one of medical library and i want to feed data from this medical library so let me add how would i go i will add this okay you just need to add here new z39.50 server and write the server name there for example national library of medicine and the generic server name is actually this one I'm not going to copy this but you can write this and then you need to provide the host name check the host name it's available here the host name just copy this and just paste here the port what port available so the port is this one and you will see the database they're using visor and now select the unimark or mark to one or whatever they are using actually you can see you can add this field as default 
and that's all save this now we have added one d3 9.50 client here similar you can add national library of pakistan similar you can add some urdu libraries for urdu data you can do this so let me show you how you can perform cataloging i mean the copy cataloging with this and we will we will discuss this in detail when we come to cataloging and metadata management so now search from this and there you can see the national library of medicine let me write one term here and it's uh, pathology just click on pathology i'm just searching from title you can write the bias bin number for more accurate result This actually depends on the internet speed. Uh, okay, you can see the National Library of Medicine. This record is from this library. This record is from this library. This National Library, National Library, National Library. Okay, let me copy this. If, if I want to, for example, I am looking for this book. Just in Go to Action, you can import this. And you can preview this and the mark preview as well available let me import this my catalog now you can see now you can see it's completely filled from the from that particular data. So this way you can add a Z39.50 client and you can perform the cataloging and we will discuss the cataloging in detail in some other videos when we come to Koha cataloging and metadata map. In Koha administration, the next thing is okay, Did you mean plugging? You can use this, but you need to add plugging. Let me show you. you. Just need to mark check here. Then I have to save this configuration. And after this, you have to add some plugin. So I'll show you how you can add plugin Koha system. And uh, in administration again have configure columns hide or show columns or for tabs share your usage statics with koha community if you want to share you can share content with mana kb if you want to and you can do this additional file add additional files to certain tables so this way we have completed the 
Poha administration, I mean the basic parameters, patterns and circulations, cataloging, acquisition parameters, and the additional parameters. So we will discuss in detail. And the, in next video, we will talk some other topics of Koha operations and administration skills. So stay tuned. And this is Farrukh Hussain, and you are watching Raflims. Thank you very much.